Hey Gators, hey Tauros, welcome to Fun Friday Craft Day with Mrs. Sua. Little Sua is helping me record, so thank you Little Sua. Today for our craft, we will be making some springtime butterflies out of coffee filters. So let me bring the camera right down here and I'm gonna show you what we're working with. So you will need for this activity, coffee filters. I have the regular round coffee filters and then here I have a cone shaped one and I was thinking of cutting it along the edge and it'll make just a different shape of butterfly. Right over here, I have some um, food coloring with diluted with some water. And then over here, over here, I have some markers. I have a spray bottle and some ribbon, some scissors, and a paper plate just to make sure that things stay nice and clean. Yes, Ceylani? What's dilution, whatever you said? Diluted? Oh, diluted just means that I put a few drops of food coloring and then I added water. Oh. So it's not just full food coloring. It's got some water in it. All right. Well, let's get started. So what you want to do, let's move our plate out of the way. What we want to do is fold our filter in half. Mm -hmm. And then we will fold it in half again. Ooh, and then we will fold cone. it in half again. And one more time. Yep, that's right. It looks like a tiny little ice cream cone. And then we'll grab our paper plate right here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let it dip inside. And this is gonna act like a straw and it's just gonna kind of pull the food coloring in. Just like this. <gasps> See how it just rises up? Yeah. It's pretty neat. And then we can do different parts. We can add some blue. Cool. Ooh, and then we can add some of this pinkish purple color. It can get a little messy. I'm gonna see, if you bring it here, I'm gonna see if that white will stick. Or if it's gonna just, oh, I forgot. Little Sue and I tried this yesterday and I forgot to tell you to wear gloves. And of course, I forgot to put them on again. But good news is I woke up this morning with no food coloring because I washed my hands quite a few times and I also showered last night and then I showered again this morning. So my hands got a lot <gasps> of, so this beautiful. is pretty neat. My hands got a lot of soap today and yesterday. That kind of looks like a, a colorful Mm, kind of, yeah. So what we're going to do is we are going to let this dry outside. Let's just put that on the side. Mm -hmm. And let's grab our other one so we can show you another way to make it. Which is by using marker. Oh, I guess I don't need that yet. So let's use some blue. Cool. So what you making, Mom? I'm just going to color it. See how many different colors I can get on it. You want to try not to leave too many white spots, but after we're finished coloring this, we are going to use a spray bottle. A special one. A special spray bottle, and it's going to help all of this color to run. It looks like you're making a flower, Mommy. Oh, uh, yeah. You can make a colorful flower. You can mm -hmm. use another color. This might be helpful if you have thicker markers. Uh-huh. Way so That way it'll be a little bit faster. But these work too. Let's see. Let's Ooh, add some green. green. Green is my favorite color. It's one of my favorite colors too, but I like the darker green. And she also likes orange and yellow. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to see how it splits into mm -hmm. this. Okay. 
my next color will be uh, pink. Pink. It can be a little hard. Mm-hmm. Especially because these filters are so thin. It kind of just crinkles up. So you have to make sure that you're able to keep it straight. There we go. Last color. The last color would be... A light purple. A lighter purple. Like violet. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're almost ready. So now that that's finished being colored, we are going to grab this spray bottle. Oh, we're just going to spray it. And we'll watch the colors kind of just bleed. Oh, that smell. <laughs> we have tea tree in our water. This is the only spray bottle that I could find. So it's kind of got... It's really pretty though. It's kind of got a strong scent with it. I'm now, do you like that pour kind of this gray? extra water in here because we're not going to use that again. And that way this will dry a lot sooner. Let's see. And then we're going to put that to the side. Put that to the side. We were not able to put this in the sun. And it's not fully dry yet. So we are going to Hey friends, so our butterflies have had time to dry. This was with the food coloring. This one was with the marker. And as you can see, the water allowed the marker to spread. And this is one that little Sua made with the coffee filter, the cone shaped coffee filter. We just cut off the ends and then we folded it just like the other ones. Um, now they're all dry. So our next step would be to grab some ribbon or some or string yarn. or yarn or whatever kind of fasteners you have you can use um, pipe cleaners or whatever you like clothes or pins you yeah just whatever you have with you and then we are going to take our butterfly butterfly we are going to bunch it up just like this kind of looks like a bow mm-hmm and we're going to tie it Let's see just going to tie it down the middle you need this? Sure. If we have some extra string, we can just cut it off and make it look like we have little... Whoops. There we go. Oh, that's not working. Let me take that from you. Little antlers. There we go. <gasps> There's your butterfly. There's our first butterfly. Ooh. Let's put it right there to rest so it doesn't fly away. It's a little bit windy today. And you just go ahead and do the same thing with your next one. You'll bunch it up, tie the ribbon around it. And if you need scissors, you can get them again. Yeah, I don't think we need scissors with this one. Are you sure? Yeah. There's your second butterfly. Beautiful. And this one's going to give us a different shape. Yeah. At first, kind it kind of kinda looks like a heart. Kind of a longer body. Mm -hmm. So I can just put around, tie it up. And there's our last butterfly. So these butterflies are super beautiful. They all come out different. Um, you can hang them together like a mobile or you can just pin them on your wall, pin them in your window, whatever you like. A mobile is when they they hang from a string. Okay. And you can have different um different layers of them. Oh god. Well, thank you for joining us today and I hope you have fun making these beautiful butterflies. Go ahead and post a picture and let us see what you've done. Bye. Bye.